Think like a scientist. Here we go in three, two, one. Ooh, look at that, sweetness. This smoke ring generator is one of my favorite activities. And in order to build one, you're gonna need a small food container like this, a tube or a small box, anything this size that you can hold in your hand. And over the mouth of the box, I stretched some rubber from a balloon. I just attached it with tape. I need to make a little drum. See, I can just push on that and make, make it out of a sandwich bag or a trash bag, anything. And at the other end of this container, you're gonna cut a hole about the size of a quarter or any size hole. I'll let you experiment, see which size works best for you. And you're gonna need some smoke. I've got some uh, special wizard chemicals that I'm gonna use. Actually, it's a theatrical smoke cookie that puts out a lot of smoke. Hopefully that will start burning. Smoke. Ooh, lots of smoke. I'm gonna fill my, that puts out some nice smoke, doesn't it? I'm gonna fill my little container with smoke. That's a rapid fill. Let me put that out. Now my container is filled with smoke. I'm gonna tip it sideways and just tap the end just a little bit. Oh, look at that. That is sweet little smoke ring. Look at that. Sweet. Those are called vortices or toroids, a donut. And the reason they're formed, I want you to picture this in your head. Think like a scientist. The air coming out of the center of the hole travels a little bit faster than the air around the edge because the air around the edge gets rubs up against the cardboard, slows it down a little bit, and it rolls. Kind of like rolling modeling clay into a snake. Well, this, in a circle, rolls that smoke, makes it toroid. So you try this, find a container, stretch a balloon over one end, put a hole at the other, fill it with smoke, and see if you can generate some smoke rings. You know what would be fun? This is cute little thing, isn't it? I'd like to make some big smoke rings. Let's make a bigger smoke ring generator. Here it is, da-da! The super smoke ring generator. I went to great expense to get this thing. You know, I dug through the dumpster and found a box, cut a hole in the bottom, taped it shut, and I made a bellow on the backside out of a trash bag and a piece of cardboard so I can pump some air. Shoot the vortex all the way across the room. We're gonna do that. Of course, I'm gonna need some smoke again. I think I'll use wizard crystals to do, make my smoke. And you know, you can put any kind of smoke in here, or if you want to do some of your own personal gas, if you know what I'm saying, if you want to shoot that across the room, I guess that's for biology. I'm going to stick with physics. You do the biology on your own. It's time to do it. Let's light it up. Fire in the hole. We actually get to do fire in the hole. Put it in there. I want you to observe carefully the, the motion of those toroids as they travel across and see if you notice any of the motion of the smoke. Think like a scientist. Here we go in three, two, one. Ooh, look at that. Sweetness, shoot it across the room. Those things travel quite a distance. And if you look closely, you'll see that the air in the center of that toroid is moving faster than the air around the edge and it makes it roll. And the ambient air pressure, that 14 pounds a square inch of air pressure, rolls that ring. It's really kind of cool. So observe the smoke rings, sharpen your science observational skill, and have a good time blowing this across the house and probably setting off the smoke detector. Hey, this is Jake Wizard 4 here at Midnight Science Club, and thanks for joining us. I was all nice and cuddly in here and warm until we set the place filled it with smoke and we had to open up all the windows. But that's cool, we did it for science. We like to sharpen our science thinking skills. And all you with curious minds, if you enjoyed what you saw, come join us, Midnight Science Club, on all sorts of social media. We'll be there. <coughs> Still smoky in here. Gee, many Christmas.